Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Snapshot series where we are taking a look at the newest snapshot, snapshots for Minecraft. And oh, what's going on here? New content. Let me just pause it right here. Where we are taking a look at the newest snapshots for Minecraft and in this video we are taking a look at the 18W. 45 a snapshot so let's get started already some stuff is going on let's do it all right so in this snapshot there are a new block that has been added but also some other features one of them being that pillagers now spawn and are raiding villagers as you can see here we have this little patrol here walking around they haven't attacked the they haven't attacked the village surprisingly i would suspect suspect them to attack um this village but right now they're just roaming around so as you can see we have the beast and we have the pillagers with their crossbows which is pretty cool i'm very happy that i spawned near to this village because um otherwise that would have been problematic but anyways um yes yeah, so illager patrols this is one of them and we don't know much about them yet, but they spawn in the world now as a pack of five mobs um, consisting of an illager beast and four random other illagers. So from my... Ah, uh, here we go. We also have a normal illager. Or vindicator, sorry. This is a vindicator. Ooh. Let me just turn that down because that is pretty loud. Let me do that. Hopefully it won't be too... Not loud. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see... Here they are. They are spawning in the world now. That is pretty cool. Um, so far I only see four here. I think they were one more, but maybe he got lost. I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's just spawned there. Um, ah, there he is. He's walking on his own. So yes, that is basically that. So right now, these illager patrols, they spawn in plains, taiga, deserts and savanna biome. So this is a taiga biome right here. Um, we don't have any other biome nearby from what I can tell, but if you see a plains, desert or savanna or tiger biome, they have a chance of spawning. I don't know the exact chance because I can't see that anywhere, but um, they have a chance of spawning. And also a new banner can be found atop the patrol's leader's head as we just saw. He was riding the illager beast over here and he had a giant um, thing, banner. On top of his head, I can't find them now, but you saw it before. It looks pretty cool, and I'm interested. Oh, there they are! There they are. There you see his um his banner on top of his head, the leader of these guys. Ah, this is a vindicator as well, actually. So that's pretty cool. They're just destroying everything in their path. So they are now spawning in the world. That is pretty awesome. I'm so excited for this update because. Yeah, they give a new threat, not only, to, not only to just you, but the world itself. But um, yeah, let's move on to the next subject. Alright, so the next subject is the new block that they have added, which is the scaffolding block. Which you can use, from my understanding, to make it easier to build. As you can see, it falls just like gravel if it's like that. And let's just say, let's pretend that... An illager came through here, for example, and oh dear, uh, he messed this roof up. Okay, um, usually you would have to get a bunch of dirt and stack it up like this, make a staircase so you could get up, right? No, no, not anymore. Just place some scaffolding and it works pretty much just like, um, just like ladders when you go into it. As you can see, you can do it like this, you go up just like ladders, but also if you go into it, it seemed like before I was like jumping on them as well. But as you can see, you can stop on the different levels, which is pretty cool. So if I just place a bunch here, like that, I'll show you the recipe in a moment. And let's say I want to do work on this window. I stay on this level and I work on the window, repair the window or whatever, just like that. And I move up to the next area of the scaffolding and move up again and up again until I'm at the top. Though from my understanding you cannot start building like... Oh, you can! So that's interesting. Before it would just fall, as you saw, if I did this for example. But I guess if you place it 
together with each other like that excuse me you actually can so that's pretty cool as well I don't know if there is there a limit let's see also this in here is not the hitbox that you can see when I point to it the black border goes to it but if I point there I can actually break through it so if we just place a bunch here ah so there we go so it can go four out without any support before it needs support again so that is pretty cool and greatly helps with building but you of course have to stand on the actual place here oh and by the way you can actually go down pressing shift go up by holding space and go down by pressing shift so that's pretty cool let's take a look at the recipe all right so for this recipe you need a crafting table and right now it can only be crafted with bamboo i would like if it could have been made with sticks as well because you may not spawn close to a jungle like I did for example and the jungle is right over there so it might be hard to find some bamboo but maybe they'll change that I don't know but we need some bamboo and we also need some string and you just place the bamboo like that and like that and boom you get six scaffolding that you can now happily build with just like that that's pretty cool that's a new block and I'm very excited about it because it's gonna help building a lot more I wonder if it detects if I'm standing yes it does it does indeed I can go down from the very top of it I like this block I think it's a nice addition maybe it would be nice if you if it could be made with sticks as well or maybe reinforced sticks or planks or something but um even without it just go and find a jungle I say just but it's not that easy sometimes but it's pretty cool and I quite like it also a quick thing about these scaffoldings you can actually use it as a fuel in a furnace and it sm actually smells six items per scaffolding so that is actually pretty good fuel as well I personally would use it as a scaffolding but I guess if you have a part you don't need you can use it as fuel so that's pretty cool as well all right, so the next thing we're going to cover is the signs. We have covered and talked about those these um, a bit now, but they have done some more stuff to them. So basically, they rewrote the sign editing to be more intuitive. And also, you know, the book update they did where they, well, not the specific book update, but they updated the book and quill um, to where you could copy and paste stuff. You can actually do that now. So if I say, hello you that are so as you can see here I can't type any more than this but I can't go one space out but that's the letters how thick they are etc that are watching there we go um, so now I can actually use I should be able to use the mouse or no movable cursor for free text editing that is not currently working for me but you can what I'm doing right now is holding shift and using the arrow keys and if I wanted to copy that huh seems like there's a bug here because I should be able to copy and paste stuff here because it says here on the wiki um, new mobile cursor for free text editing I can't really do anything with the mouse um, selected support that's there that works and then there's copy and paste it copies and it pastes but it's not registered it's not keeping the thing but I can as you can see it's eh. it's not working as it should I don't think I'm holding control and pressing C right now and it replaces my text with C and if it writes or pushes control V that's what I get so that's obviously a thing that they hopefully will be able to fix in the future but you can see what what they try to do and yeah apparently there's a bug but anyways that's a pretty cool feature as well and I quite like it but yeah that is in my opinion a very nice update so if I typed something actually something that I just figured out hello you oh the oh wait oh I oh okay now I have to delete the entire thing just to uh, no you can actually use the the um the arrow keys 
to move around in the text as well, which I believe wasn't something you could do before. And that might be the thing they mean with the cursor for free text editing and not the actual mouse cursor, but I'm not sure about that. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature right there, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't know if the mouse thing is a bug or if it's not intentional, but definitely the copy paste thing seems like a bug and um, yeah. But anyways, it's, in, it's going in the right direction, I'd say. The next thing I will try and explain as well as I actually can. It's something with commands, but before seemed like they had to, they used to have a slash drop command that has been changed to a loot command. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm not good to this, but anyways, the main thing is it is no longer from, it has, it has been made from slash drop to slash loot. If you know more about that command, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Not too much into the commands, so yeah, I'm sorry, but the drop command has been renamed to slash loot. And that is pretty much it for this update. Then there are 14 issues fixed from the release versions before 1.14 and from the 1.14 development versions and from the previous development version as well. You could go and check the wiki for those. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. One thing I want to end off with is to see if we can actually find the bamboo and stuff spawning natural in the jungle because I haven't had the opportunity to search through a jungle to see the bamboo actually spawning up. Oh, I see something here. There we go. Bamboo spawned in the jungle. I haven't actually seen the bamboo jungle forest yet for myself, but as you can see, bamboo is spawning here and there. There's a cat there. That is not an ocelot, I don't think. Or is it an ocelot? Well, that is an ocelot. Okay. But, um, yeah, I myself haven't, ooh, parrots. Haven't seen any bamboo forests myself, um, but I haven't actually had the possibility of searching through a jungle like this. I've never spawned close to one. Oh, it's a little slow on the loading there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty cool. As you can see, the bamboo is spawning on its own. And there should be a new biome, of course, with the bamboo forest and pandas and all that good stuff. Looks like my computer is a bit slow at the moment, so we'll just leave it at that. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned. If you got any um, suggestions or feedback with the commands and stuff, or just suggestions you would like me to do that maybe I didn't include, or stuff that I maybe forgot, or things you would like to see in here, be sure to leave a comment down below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a, co leave a comment, no, leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Also remember to join my Discord server, link down below. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.